Okay, let's let's stop being so serious here. Can we just watch a short clip of this? Woke up to this. RCMP won't disclose a number of officers on the job in Surrey in midst of police and debate. <laughs> There's a short clip here. I just want to let's just talk about it for a couple of seconds. There's Norm Lipinski. You know, you know this guy right here, Norm. I liked him. I liked him because I probably didn't work for him. But I remember I was in Chilliwack. I was on a course or something. We're all sitting in a room and he comes in. Everybody, holy cow, Norm's here. And he's talking to us. I don't know what he's talking to us about. I can't remember. But he goes, uh, we just finished our qualifications. We have to qualify on our, our handguns every three years, I think, if that's what, it, or every year. And I like to get 250 out of 250 because I'm a sharpshooter. And he comes in, he goes, anybody get 250? And one guy out of, I don't know, 100, puts his arm up in the air. And, and Norm gim, gives him a, uh, a fancy uh, um, handcuff key. And I yell out, what about 248? Because I got 248, I missed it by one. And he gave me one. That's my big Norm Lipinski story. He still got that handcuff key. Oop. When I retired, I was supposed to hand in all my gear, and I, I told my inspector, I said, I can't give you this. And he's like, okay, yeah. I'll take it. It's my little gift to you, Clint. You can keep the handcuff key. Even took the batteries out of my tape recorder. Okay. Let's watch this. So what do they... Do you guys know what's going on in Surrey? So this mayor comes along... He gets elected because he says, oh, I'm going to get rid of the RCMP, and everybody votes for him. And now his term is up, and this lady comes around, and she goes, I'm going to bring back the RCMP, and everybody votes for her. So that's what she's trying to do now. And apparently in this article, well, let's just watch it, see what this uh, little sunshine has to say here. The tight vote. Council voted five to four in favor of keeping the RCMP in Surrey. But this is only the first step in putting a stop to the transition that began four years ago. City staff will now have to draw up a plan on how it will reverse the transition. That will go to Public Safety Minister and Solicitor General Mike Farnworth, who will have the final say on whether the city can go ahead with the decision. So isn't that amazing? This Brenda Locke, or whatever her name is, the mayor of Surrey, is, uh, they, got, they got the votes in that says, yeah, we're going to keep the RCMP. And who's going to review this? Who's going to have the final decision? Safety boy, Mike Farnworth. The people that we, that are in charge, aren't you? <laughs> like, that's kind of a big decision for safety boy, isn't it? He's just a dude, a goofy dude who twitches when he talks. And he's going to have the final say. The, the plan will include the power that people have, right? The plan will include how to maintain current staffing levels of more than 700 police officers, prepare for future increases in staff, and come up with ways to repurpose or dispose of equipment already purchased. In the meantime, council is asking the Surrey Police Service to put the brakes on all hiring and spending, but that's something the SPS says it won't do. The mayor doesn't have the uh, authority to direct the police uh, department to do any particular thing. There are Okay, Norm. <laughs> look at these people. Look at these Surrey cops. Look at her. They're, they are goddamn models. Are currently 154 look S... And look at that. Look at that. PS officers deployed. With I love how you put your belt on. Another 100... You know, let's rewind that for a second. Look at... Okay. Okay. I appreciate she doesn't have side hair. Thank you for not having side hair. I mean, it is ripped right back, but... I don't know what kind of works for her, right? Imagine if she had a couple of bangs, though. I just wanted to point that out. Makes me want to become a Surrey police officer. I'll be a partner. Four SPS officers deployed, Clicky. with another 161 officers at, waiting for look deployment. At this look at that man. Under the Human Resources Plan, 35 members are deployed every two months. Look at that, look at that guy. Including this month. Now Look at a couple of models. Now that we're after the election. 
You, you know, the RCMP never looked like that. I mean, she's even got hair extensions. The province, the federal government has not changed or given any direction to change that human resource plan. The Surrey Police Service says terminating the transition would cost up to $188.5 million. That's it? Another $188 million? That's nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> But Mayor Brenda Locke says the city has yet to see those numbers and staff will be doing their own complete financial analysis that will be included in their report to the province. Meanwhile, the SPS says they will be doing their own. Look at this car, guys. Okay, look at this car. Own report for Solicitor General Mike Farnworth on why the new force should continue. Could you imagine you just become a police officer and they're like, here's your car, beep, beep, beep. Like, who the hell? Why would you have a police car like that? No cop wants to be seen in that thing. You want a Ford LTD. That's what you want. You want a Crown Vic. You don't want to drive in that. Remember, I became watch commander and they gave me this goofy SUV. I'm like, and I wouldn't drive it. I would drive a cop car. Why? Because I'm a cop. That's what I signed up for. I like driving a cop car. Not a goofy little. I don't even. Want, I don't even know what the hell that is. But whatever. Gross. Embarrassing. And I actually got in trouble. I actually got in trouble. The uh, inspector of the d detachment ordered me to start driving the SUV. That's the watch commander vehicle. Clint, that's what you're going to be driving. I listened for a week. True story. The decision now rests in the hands of Farnworth, who will be receiving not one, but two reports on the topic. Jasmine Bala, Global News. Well, hello. Uh, isn't that something, Farnworth? He's going to make the final decision. <laughs> I just wanted to read this really quickly for you guys. Look, it's Ukraine, Russia. If you enjoyed that short bag of dicks, you can watch the full episode right here.